Welcome back, fuckers. All right, we're going to smash on through and go through the next part of your DCS Liberation Dynamic Campaign. Uh, we're going to go through the first turn. Okay, so we've gone through setting up all of your uh, mission settings, gone through kind of what they do, what you want, and now we're going to go through getting your first units assigned. So we've got a budget here. So we've got $650 million dues to spend, and we're going to get $60 million on our next turn. Okay, so the first number is your current cash supply. The next number is your money. Okay, money you're going to get each round after. So each turn, Okay, you got up here, proceed past turn and mission planning. Each turn is essentially a sortie or a mission file that you're going to generate. Once the uh, mission's been flown and it's grabbed all the stuff that happened, it will update the uh, dynamic campaign to reflect what you did or didn't do. And you, know, you can start progressing up through the map. So our goal is to go from Batumi and push towards and capture Kovaletti and then just continue on capturing each airfield. So you can only capture airfields from ground units. You can't land your plane on it to capture it. You have to get ground units to physically go into the airfield zone, um, destroy all the uh, the ground units at the airfield as well, and then capture it like you would normally. So here we go. Let's go to Batumi. On your uh, blue airfields. Okay, so any blue dot you can click on, and it will bring up the same kind of thing where you can buy your units and all the rest of it. So we go to Batumi here. First thing, airfield command. We've got a little hangout, zero of 10. So there's only 10 actual spots at Batumi airfield, 10 spawn locations at Batumi. So we can only buy 10 aircraft to fill uh, at Batumi. So we're going to go ahead and buy five F-16s and five F-15s. Okay, you can see our budget we now have 440 instead of 650. Okay, we've done that. Ground forces. So this is your actual ground forces that are going to be fighting on this front line here. Okay, so the orange line is the front line where the rubber, re rubber meets the ramp, so to speak, and where our forces will be fighting the red fort forces. So you can buy all this stuff. You can buy yourself uh, any of this. It's gift got the price, and then you just click on the button, you know, Buy what you need. Go hard. Go for it. And then you've got base defenses. So if you scroll down here, we've got three labs. So this is what's actually at Batumi defending Batumi. So if um, they get through the front line or our front line gets destroyed, the base defenses will actually be on Batumi itself and they will be defending Batumi from the Red Four coming in to try and cap it. We've got three labs, one M818 and two Avengers. We've got that times two, that times three. So we don't have much defending the airfield, which is okay, but we also want to make sure that, um, you know, we've got some SAM coverage because we don't at the moment and you need SAM. So you can change one of these. We're going to go for one of these guys. All right. So you're going to click on him, manage, and we can go buy, replace. So you can either buy a SAM side or you can buy a defensive unit. So if you want to buy some uh, artillery, for example, and just do some shelling, you know, you can buy, uh, where are they? Has it got artillery? Yeah, there we go, Paladin. There we go. So we can buy some Paladins. Buy some of them. So we just changed that to three artillery pieces. And then we're going to do this thing on this one, and we're going to buy ourselves a Hawk site or a Patriot site. So Hawk site doesn't have as big a range. Patriot site has got more range. So we're going to go for Patriot site. Gives us a bit more coverage. We're going to buy that and close that. And you can see now here we've got 106 million remaining. Uh, and you can do the same thing. Tarawa can, or the Blue Wood can take 20 aircraft slots. So we'll buy a couple of Harriers, and then same deal with the uh, the Supercarrier or the Stennis. Couple of Hornets. And we've got 10 million left. So you don't have to spend it all in one go because the next turn we're going to have 60 million coming in. So that'll do us for that one. We've bought all the units that we want to get the game started. So once we've bought our stuff, we're then going to come up here and you're going to go to Proceed Pass Turn. You're going to click on that. And then you can see here we've got it. Can I move that across? 
right we've been reinforced with all that stuff we bought so we've got five f15s five f16s we've got all that stuff at batumi now and we've also got our carrier has been reinforced with the tomcat we've got two hornets and two harriers okay so everything we just bought then has just turned up now we've got we had 10 million we got 60 added so we've got 70 million in our budget again and we're ready to go for our first mission plan okay so that set up our first turn um last thing with buying units and we'll call this uh this tutorial done and then we'll go through actually setting up a mission planning session on the next one try and keep these as short as possible so you don't have to sit here forever um when you buy a unit okay so if i wanted to buy another f16 for example come on click on it oh we can't we're at 10 yeah bad example uh if i want to buy another tomcat for example right so i'm like cool i want to reinforce when i have two tomcats i don't get this unit okay the tomcat will not arrive until we've gone to the next turn okay so at turn we're on turn number two now when we fly the mission and it goes to turn number three we will get delivered that unit okay so you got to kind of think in advance one mission in advance because you don't get resupplies of ground units and aircraft instantaneously so if you have a shocker of a mission and you lose every single you know aircraft you've got you send everything up and they all get shot down and you didn't order any any more aircraft to replace the ones that you potentially will lose um you are going to be screwed okay so it takes a turn to get your reinforcements you can't just get them instantaneously so just remember that don't leave yourself short if you are kind of doing a Hail Mary, make sure you order some extra stuff. And just keep an eye on your uh, your units at the airfield. So Batumi can only have 10 aircraft. So we've maxed out Batumi. We can't buy any more aircraft to put at Batumi, which is fine. All right, but we can add some more base defenses because we've got 46 mil remaining. So again, these are going to get replenished on the next one. Okay, the next sortie next mission file that we make so we'll just go ahead and so we've got uh, a couple of them you kind of just wing it just wing it spend it all spend it all we're going to set them to aggressive okay so on your uh your operations here i don't know if i went through that on the last video or not you've got a drop down menu so you can set the kind of the uh the mission style for your ground forces you can set them to defensive they'll pretty much just stay on the front line and won't advance aggressive they'll actually attack retreat they'll retreat back breakthrough elimination ambush you can set it to them play around with each of those um generally just going to leave it on aggressive or defensive but um yeah that's that's the the general gist of that one pick it that's all ai stuff okay ai so don't get too carried away with that one all right, so that is how you get your first turn sorted. And then we can essentially set up now for a sortie, which we're going to do on the next video. So if you did like the video, make sure you hit the like button to uh, let me know you did. And if you haven't also subscribed to the YouTube channel, let's keep those subscriptions coming in. Or subscriptions, followers, essentially, that's what it is. It's crazy that there's uh, 350 plus of you guys now that like watching what shit i spew out of my mouth <laughs> thanks you fucks and uh lastly but not least i do stream on twitch so if you haven't already come on by check me out uh stream monday to friday at 1300 stream western standard time drop in say good day ask any questions you've got live on stream and i uh, will do our best to answer anything that you want to know right guys catches on the next one see you